Hey, welcome back. This is Mr. Marlow again. Uh, today we're going to do a quick little tutorial on how to use the negative function on the calculators. There are two basic functions. One of them is going to have a key that looks like this. Um, the plus sign, minus sign, and then there's this little looping arrow. Um, we're just going to use the make it negative aspect of it. This key actually just changes the sign on whatever number is on the display. If I put a 9 in there and press it, it becomes negative. And the looping part is that if I press it again, it just changes the sign on the number. But that is how you put a negative number in this calculator. This one over here, this one actually is a negative sign. This is the key right here that you use. I kind of like this one better because, like I said, you press that to get a negative and you do it first. So we'll just do a couple of examples real quick. Um, look at like negative 6 plus 4 right here. Okay, with this calculator, we have to put the 6 in and then press the negative function. That makes it negative 6 on the display, and then I just do plus 4 equals and I get negative two for my answer. So I write that on my paper. Um, so that's how you do it with this calculator. Once again, negative six plus four, I gotta put the six in first, make it negative, and then add the four. And that's how you get it. With this other calculator, and again, it's not specific to the Casios, Texas Instruments have this function too. But with this one, I kinda like it a little better because again, it looks exactly like what is here. So to do negative six, I would press negative six plus four, and then hit my equals. And once again, you can see that it's negative two. All right, so it's very simple. Um, let's do one more example to show uh, this is multiplication. I use a little star instead of an X. But to do five times negative three, I would do five times, and then negative sign, 3 equals, and I get negative 15. Okay, very simple, very quick, but again, just like it's written on the paper, 5 times negative 3, and then hit an equal sign. So there's your negative function for this calculator, and if you have that function key, you're going to press that before you put in the number to make it negative. Again, with this one, this is our negative function. And we have to hit, not that, I'm sorry. This is our negative function. That was the fraction. That was the last one. Here's your negative function. You press that after the number. So to do 5 times negative 3, I do 5 times put the three in first and tell the calculator I want it to be negative and then hit an equal sign. And that's it. Not. So thank you for watching. I hope that helps. If you have either one of those symbols on any calculator, that is how they work. So thank you for watching and have a good day.